Hey watch fans, Brad from Brent Miller Jewelers. And today I have for us two Bell & Ross BR0392 dive models. Uh, if you watch the channel, you know I reviewed the bronze white dial, I don't know, a couple weeks back. Huge fan of that model. I really like the white dial with that bronze case. And today I have two more for us. I have the ceramic case on my left here, the black ceramic case with the matte black dial. And I have the stainless steel case with the blue dial and bezel. Um, I also have the black uh, on stainless steel, but I just thought this would be a good comparison. Two different colors, two different case materials to grab these two. So the question for you today is black dial versus blue dial and ceramic case versus stainless steel. Um, dimensions on these again, uh, both 42 millimeters. Uh, so I'll just, same size on both. So 42 millimeters across the square case. Again, that's above the crown protectors here. So straight across 42 millimeters. The bezel from three to nine across is 42.9 and you can see that it does just stick out over that case a little bit on the edge which is why it's a little bit larger so 42.9 and then i also measured the crystal at 34.9 from the edge of the crystal from three to nine so about 35 millimeters on that uh, we have a case thickness of 12.5 millimeters we have 51.4 from lug tip to lug tip and then we have a 24 millimeter lug width. However, the at the widest part of this strap, I measured it at um, 32 millimeters. So the widest part, 32, but the true lug here in between the lugs was 24. And then it does not taper, even though from the lug width, obviously from the largest you know part of this uh, strap, it does taper down. But the, uh, the pin buckle here is 24 millimeters as well, matching the lug width. Again, you have a signed ceramic um, buckle here. And overall, I really like the, the matteness, I guess if that's even a word, of this case. This ceramic case, uh, I'll be honest, when I first picked it up, I wasn't sure if I was looking at PVD or not. I had to look up the model, and sure enough, it is ceramic. And I should have known just because of the, the, the quality of which the ceramic is done. I, I, again, I really think this looks sharp, and uh, if you can't tell, this would be my pick of these two. I think they're both great, but I just really love... Uh, this all this all works for me the uh again the ceramic case and this and the matteness uh, of just the bezel everything about it so i have not seen the loom on yet this on either of these yet so i'm anxious to see how this bezel looks uh with the loom because it does look like the bezel's loomed now moving along um we got solid case backs on both of these um housing the uh, bell and ross caliber uh, 302 38 hours of power reserve both of them uh signed screw down crowns 300 meters of water resistance and the ceramic is just slightly lighter at 157.4 grams versus the stainless steel at 159.6 however i will say even though there's only uh roughly two gram difference the stainless steel just feels a little bit heavier to me maybe it's just me um but uh, i feel like it just in hand just feels a little bit heavier uh retail on these the ceramic case as you can imagine is gonna be a little bit more expensive $4,600 on the ceramic and the stainless steel here at $39.90. So just under four, you're looking at about a $600 premium for the ceramic. So uh, let me throw these both on wrist. Before I do that, I'll give you bezel action. Feels pretty good. Not any real back play there whatsoever. I do like the applied markers on this dial and again just a really nice matte black dial to match the matte black ceramic and the blue i'm going to say this is also a matte blue dial it's not really uh glossy at all to my eye but i think it looks really good uh looks to be aluminum i did not look this up but the bezel looks to be aluminum and I, let me just double check i don't think it's going to sound or feel any different on a stainless steel Feels the same. Yeah, I'd say they're pretty similar stainless steel to, to ceramic. So again, let me throw these both on wrist. If you're not familiar, I have a six and three quarter inch wrist. Yes, these are going to be larger than I typically like, but if you've watched any of my reviews on Bell & Ross on these straps, these things wear very comfortably. I think I say it during every Bell & Ross video. Yes, they're a little bit large, larger than I prefer. So I'm well aware this looks large on my wrist, but I'm gonna tell you, they wear very comfortably. These rubber straps are very sub, uh, subtle, um, supple. Um, just again, pretty thin. It just, 
it, it feels good on wrist. Would love, absolutely love to see one of these in a you know 38, 39, 40 millimeter case for uh, for those of us with maybe uh, smaller watch preferences or smaller wrists. So there's the ceramic and the stainless steel again. This blue looks. I like the shade of blue on this. Um, I think it's a great shade of blue. Would happily wear either one of these. They were just slightly smaller for me, but I think they uh, I think they work. Again, really comfortable for as large as they are on my wrist. Let me hit the lights real quick. As always, if there's anything I can do for you, anything at all, feel free to email me, brad at brentlmiller.com. Happy to help out. And as I expected, we got another difference here. That ceramic bezel is loomed and I think looks fantastic. Um, so again, this is the first time I'm seeing them as well. For me, it's the ceramic, the loom bezel. Just, I love the matteness of the case. And again, if that's not a word, forgive me, I'm gonna use it. Uh, the blue looks great, but uh, my money's going towards the uh, ceramic. So let me know what you think. Black versus blue, ceramic versus stainless steel on these two. Thanks for viewing, and we'll see you in the next video.